The first hole here at TPC Deer Run is a par four named Grand Detour. The pros will play from about 420 yards. It's a short hole. Uh, first chance to get out of the gate strong. It's a birdie hole. You don't want to get too aggressive with the tee shot. It brings into the, the bunker on the left that is around the dog leg. Bunkers on the right aren't really in play unless you're going with the driver. Really, most players will take a three wood off this tee box for the pros. With the hole only being about 420, you really can do whatever you want with the tee shot. There's a very generous fairway. It's a tough green, though. The, the approach has a bunker on the right, a very deep swell on the left. So you really want to figure out where the pin's located and how to approach it from the best angle coming into the green. If the pin's back left, you want to be on the right side of the fairway. If the pin's back right, you want to be on the left side of the fairway to give yourself the best angle. And if you do miss it, you'll get hopefully in the middle of the green uh, as opposed to uh, missing it long or deep. After this hole, you have a par five, which is very playable. But then after that, the course toughens up a little bit. And really, this is an opportunity to get your round started, settle into the round, and hopefully it gets off to a really good start for the, uh, for the day. The second hole at TPC Deer Run, named Colonel Davenport, is a short par five, 551 yards. The first thing you'll notice when you come to this tee box is just the picturesque views. Depending on how long the pro can hit the golf ball off the tee, there's a collection of bunkers on the right side. That's the hard part to, to navigate. If you can avoid that, maybe favor the left side, definitely have a, a short approach into the green. With the tee shot being downhill, you can definitely favor and get the ball down to the neck of the fairway where you can probably have 230 or less into the green. Now the greens are very much surrounded by a pond on the left as well as some bunkers on the right and a tree complex can make it very difficult to, to hit into that green. So you have to fly it to that green, you really can't run it up to the green. The whole green is surrounded by the nice stone house and barn behind it which has this, a cool backdrop. Overall, the green can be difficult, especially when the green speeds get up a little bit. Uh, you have to control your spin going into that green as well, very much so, to manage the ball from rolling off the front of the green. The being only 550 yards or so, it absolutely is a green, uh, an opportunity where you need to make birdie or eagle if you can to get your round off to a good start. The following holes after this do toughen up and uh, less opportunities to make birdies. Third hole here at TPC Deer Run, uh, long par three uphill, playing about 183 yards. The name of this hole is Stonehouse. The third hole is a tough par three uphill. It plays significantly uphill, usually about eight to 12 yards, depending on the tee location. Uh, the mindset here is just to get it on the green, two putt and, and get on with the hole. There's a, a, a large bunker short right. If you try to go long or left, it, it falls off significantly uh, to a low, uh, tightly moaned area. So there really is no uh, place to miss it on this hole. Now the green is, is generous. Uh, it, it slopes from front to back. Uh, but it is a very much a elevated green, which is difficult to hit on your first tee shot. Hole number four here at TPC Deer Run is a par four, 455 yards. The name of the hole is Friendship Farm. The unique characteristics of this hole is the tree in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, the tree kind of defines the fairway. It's pretty much set right in the middle of it. It's a large fairway, about 80 yards across. If you can, you favor the right side. It's a slight dog leg to the right hole. If you can favor the right side, it will cut the hole shorter for you and give you a very approachable shot to the green, which is a difficult green. The green has a, a look of an infinity green behind it. It's very cool. It's very elevated. There's a large bunker complex to the left. If you miss it to the right, there's a low, short moan area to the right, which makes chipping very difficult to an elevated green. It's a narrow green, so you really want to be very precise with your approach shot. So having a shorter club into that is very beneficial. The green's not terribly difficult overall. It's fairly flat. The front has a little more undulation to it. Uh, but it's a very deep green, so you want to make sure you have the right distance from front to back. The fourth green is one of the best views on the property. You're elevated above hole number two and, and the area surrounding it. It's a great view of the property overall and a cool spot to be on the golf course. Hole number five here at TPC Deer Run is a par four, 429 yards. The name of this hole is Lincoln Crossing. You want to approach this hole, favor the left side of the fairway, taking on those bunkers, and make sure you don't fall off to the right. Going down the right side of the hole is just jail, to be honest with you. But the trees on the right really make a, a shot for where you have to chip out, save par for the hole if you can. The, the second shot plays slightly downhill to a narrow green. The complex uh, of the green has several bunkers around it. Also a lot of rough behind it on the left side. It's a very narrow green, so you really have to be accurate with your distance. And coming from an elevated fairway down to the green complex makes it a difficult and your accuracy and distance control is very important. The left side of the green has a little bit of a false front to it. Fairly level for the most part. The speed of the green can be interesting depending on where you're positioned on the hole. Make for a difficult two putt sometimes. Great viewing hole number five, a great uh, grandstand behind the hole. It's a great view from behind the green to the fairway to see uh, players coming in. Uh, and it has a lot of exciting shots coming into the screen. 
Hole number six here at TPC Deer Run is a short par four, playing 365 yards. Name of the hole is William Butterworth. For most pros, they'll take less than a driver here, and it's more position shot off the tee. It's definitely a shot maker's hole here. The fairway runs out. Uh, there's a large bunker on the left, tree complex on the right. You really are just playing to a spot where you want to approach the green from. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 120, 130 yards is ideal. Second shot can't be a challenge. You're playing from an elevated fairway to an elevated green with a, a low spot in between those two. Uh, the green complex is very complicated. There's, there's several locations guarded by a large bunker on the right and a runoff on the back of the green. Some of these spots can be very difficult to putt to. The other ones can be benign, but at the same time, uh, it's slanted from the front to back again, mostly in the front of the green. It can be difficult. The top, middle part of the green is fairly level and playable, and that's where you'll get a chance to get a birdie. Hole number seven here at TPC Deer Run is a long par three, playing 222 yards. Name of this hole is Timber Ridge. This is a difficult par three that requires a long carry iron or hybrid to the green. The green complex is surrounded by several bunkers and rough all behind the green. There's two areas of this green. It's, it's got a, a ridge in the middle of the green that bisects the green. The front right is most playable or approachable. You have a large hill on the right side where if you land short or just right, it will funnel down to that pin location. Also on the left side of the green, if you play to the middle of the green or slightly left, it will funnel down to that portion of the green as well. Uh, a difficult pin is back middle of the green where it's really hard to get back to that far uh, pin location in the back. The green can get fast on this hole if you're not careful and the, you can sometimes get the putts can get away from you. Par is always good. Uh, if you can get to the green and land on the green uh, and two putt and get out of here, that's, that's a great score. If you're uh, getting into a bunker or the rough around the green, it's gonna make it very difficult up and down. Hole number eight here at TPC Deer Run. It's a short par four, playing 428 yards. The name of this hole is Sanctuary. The tee box on this hole comes straight out from a shoot of trees to a very narrow fairway feels a little claustrophobic on this tee shot, so you have to be very much controlling. Luckily, the hole is not terribly long where you have to hit a long drive, but the closer you can get to the green makes the approach shot much more playable. The approach shot to the green is very challenging with bunkers surrounding the complex and an elevated green. Depending on where the flag is on the hole, if it's a front pin, that's the most challenging on this hole is the front pin location. You got a bunker to the left, you have a huge swale to the right that's very difficult up and down. The pins in the middle or towards the back, that's where they're looking to make birdie and take advantage of the pin location. This green's got very subtle nuances to it. It's fairly flat, but it's a difficult read. You sometimes think it's gonna go one direction, it goes another. It plays slightly back towards the river where, where it drains a little bit, and sometimes that catches players off guard and not unsure of what to read in this green. Hole number nine here at TPC Deer Run is a long par four playing 485 yards. The name of this hole is Howitzer. The tee shot's important. If you, if you don't find the fairway here, you really set yourself up for a difficult approach into the green. There's a lot of trees once you get past your second shot here into the green. If you hit a long drive, you can get to a narrow part of the fairway that swales down. So a lot of the players lay up depending on where it is, shorter so they have a flat lie into the green. But that distance is anywhere from 180 to 200 into the green, depending, to a very, very difficult green complex. The green's surrounded by two bunkers, narrow in the front and a little bit wider in the back, but it's slightly elevated and it's a tough shot with the trees surrounding it all around the, the entire hole in the second shot. The green is challenging. The front is narrow. Uh, probably the most approachable is the front pin location. Number nine is probably in the top two difficult holes depending on where the wind's uh, the direction for the day. It requires a long tee shot, accurate tee shot, and the second shot is probably the most difficult uh, on the golf course, very much so. And if you get a three, you're, you're definitely gaining on the field. The 10th hole here at TPC Deer Run is a par five playing 581 yards. The name of this hole is Core 10. If you can push your drive down the fairway on this hole, absolutely is, is a, a birdie slash eagle hole. Uh, the challenge comes around the green complex um, where there's a pond to the right, bunkers to the left, so you have to have an accurate second shot. So depending on how your lie is and your approach shot is, the distance, and how comfortable you are with your second shot to go for the green and two, but it's definitely a birdie hole. If you don't make birdie here, you're, you're losing to the field for sure. Being a par five, the green's not terribly difficult. For the most part, the front half is fairly flat. The toughest green location, pin location, I should say, is back left. There's an elevated portion there, and if you're not able to stop it and spin it in that location pretty well, it's gonna feed back down to the middle of the green. I feel with only three par fives on the golf course, birdieing all three of them are a priority. Uh, with the scores being tended to be on the lower side out here, especially with benign wins sometimes, there's not a lot of defense other than the rough. So if you can make birdies on the par fives, it will make it offset some of the challenging par fours that we have on the course. 
Hole number 11 here at TPC Deer Run is a short par four, 428 yards. Name of this hole is Jump Start. Tee shot off this hole requires a very accurate tee shot. There's trees lined both sides of the fairway with a large tree on the left side as well. The visual is difficult. It, it, this hole feels claustrophobic again, similar to number six coming out of the chute. Both sides of the fairway are, are no-go. If you miss to the right, it's a hazard. You miss to the left, it's basically a chip out to the fairway once again. You can't hit full driver here because the fairway does run out a little bit towards the end, so you want to hit to the plateau on the top of the fairway, which is usually about 250, 260 out. The approach to the green is, a, uh, is an amazing green complex. Elevated green angled towards the uh, fairway, two large bunkers uh, flanking it. Most birdies will come from the front pin location, front right, front left. It's a benign part of the green. The green is bisected by a very substantial hill. The back left and the back right will be the most difficult to get close to, as well as also getting uh, a flat putt up there is going to be difficult as well. With the way the green slopes, the speeds can get out of control, and a three putt is realistic here on this hole. The 12th hole here at TPC Deer Run is a long par three playing 208 yards. The name of this hole is Master Stroke. Visually from this tee shot, it's, it's a little intimidating. There's a lot around the green complex. There's trees to the right, so you feel a little more claustrophobic on this tee shot. The green complex is difficult. While it's a large green, there's a large bunker to the right, large bunker to the left, and if you go long, the rough is significantly brutal behind it. So you really need to hit the green at all costs. Once you get to the green, it's a very difficult green complex. Significant slope in the middle of the green, bisecting the green. Uh, top left pin location is probably the most difficult, where front right uh, or front left is actually very playable, and if you hit a good shot there, you could try to make a birdie and take one up on the field here. If you feel comfortable with the tee shot while being a little bit on the longer side, you can definitely take advantage of it. If the pin is in the back left, a great shot back there will get you up, uh, up on the field. If you miss the green, you're going to make bogey, most likely without a great approach shot to the green. Hole number 13 here at TPC Deer Run is a short par four playing 428 yards. The name of this hole is Poppin' Johnny. The key to this hole is getting your drive as far down as you possibly can. The fairway is 50 yards across. Uh, we've tightened it up recently with the bunker renovation, brought that bunker a little bit more into play, but really you can hit a three wood or driver and get it where the fairway banks a little bit right to left and get it down there 80, 100 yards, whatever your number will be. Probably the most challenging part of the hole is the approach shot. The green's slightly elevated, so you're hitting up to a little bit of a plateau green, guarded by two bunkers on the left, and a fall off to the right. Fairly benign green for the most part, uh, just bisected by a small ridge in the middle. Uh, the front pin location is probably the most, most approachable. If you do spend it too much, it'll come off to the front, but really that's probably where you'll make the most birdies. The back pin location can be a little more challenging with just getting your distances right on that, uh, on that spot. Hole 14 here at TPC Deer Run is a very reachable par four playing 358 yards. The name of this hole is Deer Run. This is a very much a risk reward hole. Many options off the tee box. If the tee's playing short, they'll go for the green. If it's playing longer, you probably want to just hit 230 out to the left, give yourself the most uh, approachable direction to the green. The fairway's got a lot of undulation to it, so you, the layup is important. And then the green complex has a lot going on. Bunker to the left, huge swale to the right, where if you go down to the right side, pretty much a brutal up and down from any location. You're below the green, 10 to 15 feet above your head. The green complex overall, once you get up there, is, is fairly benign on the front part of the green. However, the middle to the back is very difficult. It's, it's elevated, it's severely banked from front to back. The trouble is on this hole is, is, is right of the green. You miss right of the green, you really don't have a shot. If by ever, whatever reasons you hit the ball long over the green, it's into a hazard, you're out of play. So you really want to have control on that shot. But if you want to get aggressive, hitting a, a driver over that last bunker is really a, an aggressive play. But if you miss to the right of the green, you're scrambling to get up and down and make that birdie that you need to do on this hole. The 15th hole here at TPC Deer Run is a long par four, playing 484 yards. The name of this hole is Coal Town. A long drive on this hole is required to get a shorter approach shot to the green. On this hole, most players are looking to go down the right side. The, the hill there favors a, a kick to the left to get into the fairway. Anything left on this hole is really not a great spot. There's a bunker there that protects it that could save you from going into the hazard. Anywhere down the left side or into the left uh, rough would be a very difficult shot to the green. The green complex is, is, is very interesting here. The green's elevated. There's a false front to the left side of the green. So if you're trying to play to that front right position, you better be accurate. Uh, there's also a bunker to the right and also to the left. Really the most difficult pin location is probably back left. If you miss it to the left side there, there's a substantial fall off with the rough being very difficult over there. 
The green's bisected by another ridge down the middle, and it can get very fast back that portion of the green. You've got two easy holes prior to this. You come into this hole, and this is all you want. You really want to make par here if you can and get through this hole. You've got a short par three after this. You also have a short par five that's very vertical, and then uh, an 18th hole that you just want to make par on and get out of here. Hole 16 here at TPC Deer Run is par three, 158 yards. Name of this hole is Mother Earth. 16 is probably our signature hole here at TPC Deer Run. It's a beautiful view of, of the hole right along the edge of the river. It's just perfect. This is an interesting hole with the wind. Depending on where the wind can go, sometimes can really accentuate or, or not involve the shot at all. If there's a little west to east wind, it can encourage your ball to go towards the water that you won't even feel on the tee box. The easiest pin location is probably front right. Uh, there's a backstop there where you can spin off of that and bring the ball back down to the hole. Uh, the two more difficult is, is middle left or back right. Yeah, after you get through 15, you kind of kind of start seeing, you can hear the roars on 18. This whole area is kind of connected. So coming to 16, you know you're feeling the pressure of the last three holes. This is definitely a birdie opportunity if you can get a, a good shot, a good yardage into the pin that you're looking to get into. Uh, and the toughest part is reading this green. It can be a difficult read. With the Rock River right here, you sometimes there's more into it or less into the, the, the read of the putt than you think. 17th hole here at TPC Deer Run is a long par five playing 569 yards. The name of this hole is Stadium. Very much a birdie hole for most of the players coming out here. While it's fairly lengthy at 570 yards, it is definitely reachable in two. The fairway has a bank to it where you can throw a draw out there and draw it around the corner and make it to where you're 230 to 250 from the green. There's a huge swale around the right and back of the green, but I think the players feel they can get up and down from there. There's a bunker short right as well protecting the green, but it is a very approachable green from the left side coming into this green. The green complex itself is, is, is tricky. Uh, front pin location is probably the easiest. Uh, there's also a huge wrap around to the right, where if you go for that pin and you miss it to the right, you have a difficult up and down from that low swale. The left, top left to the middle of the green is probably the most difficult plateau area to get to. You have to have accuracy with your approach shot there. If you've gotten to this hole and of any sort of contention with the tournament, you've got to make a, a birdie or even an eagle here if you can, because 18 is really holding on. If you can make a birdie there, you're still one. But birdieing here is a requirement coming into the, the last few holes here. The 18th hole here at TPC Deer Run is a long par four playing 476 yards. The name of this hole is Conquistador. A long accurate drive is required on this tee box. Coming from an elevated tee box, you can see the entire hole. There's a lot going on this on the visual. Spectators, bunkers on the left, trees on the right. Uh, you have to focus on this hole to get an accurate tee shot. From the fairway, you have the pond on the left, uh, narrow green, uh, bunker short right, long left. Uh, when you're looking at the green complex, you really have to figure out your distance control going into that green. 18th is a great finishing hole. I mean, when you're looking at the, the tee shot, you have to hit in the fairway. Then you have another approach shot where you're, everybody's looking at the water when, and favoring to say, oh, I don't want to go in the water, so I'm going to miss it to the right, bringing in the bunkers and the short, uh, short mown area to the right. The, the, the depth of the green gets everybody. It's a long green, narrow green, and, the, and just the whole complex of the area. It's a, very much a stadium uh, complex there with a clubhouse to the right, usually people on the hill to the right as well. Uh, it's a great amphitheater location to, to come into the finishing hole.